In today's video, we're going to be building a PC rig. Now, this is a very different sort of video. We're not doing any particular projects and I don't claim to be a PC expert in any way. Um, I've never built a computer, so I know there's going to be comments of you probably should have bought this part or you probably should have wired it like this or connected it like that or used this and that's fine. Um, totally open to feedback from the experts out there. This is simply me giving it a crack because I need a new setup. Now, there are a few reasons I needed to build a new setup, but for the engineering dad side of things, um, as we're boosting the quality of our content, I started getting very frustrated with the lag that I was getting on my editing software, my 3D modeling software and coding. Not to say that my HP Spectre X360 hasn't been a great machine. It's actually been excellent for most things, but for those like higher process and higher graphic intensive tasks, it is time to upgrade my setup. Um, so yeah, we'll be getting into it. So for the motherboard, I've decided to go with the ROG Strix B550F gaming Wi-Fi. So I was going to go with an X570, but it was a bit above budget. So I thought just going to B550 instead. Look at that thing. So to me, even though I've never built a PC before, it is sort of like looking at this, similar to what we've done in the past. We've put circuits together and built little microcontrollers and little robotic bits. Very different, but in some respects, the, the flow and logic is the same. Kind of like building Lego. For the CPU, I've decided to go with the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X processor. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that one open. So we should just be able to get that pin up. And now I'm going to open up the little CPU case, making sure I don't get my fingers all over it because I've heard that can be quite detrimental to the process. Okay, and we're just gonna sort of slide that in like such. Brilliant. And then we can lock that in. So for my RAM, I've gone with the DDR4 Corsair Vengeance Pro uh, two 16 gigabytes, so 32 gigabytes total RAM. We're gonna go ahead and install that. Coming over, I'm gonna use the first and the third slot. So pulling these levers up, one and two, so one and three. Get our first piece. So here we've got the label B1, B2, A1, A2. So we're gonna go in B1 and A1. All right, RAM is installed. Okay, so now it's time to install our M2 SSD. So I'm using the Corsair MP600 Pro LPX, two terabyte. Um, should be plenty of storage for our videos and little models and stuff like that. And then if we need to get a bit more, we'll use something external, which is, in my opinion, good practice anyway. Um, just in case something like shit goes wrong and you need to ensure that there is a backup location for your more important stuff. Go ahead and open that. And then bring it out. A little QR code, which is probably instructions on how to install that, but we're just gonna sort of give that one a crack. So I'm gonna use this sort of top slot here. Get our little Phillips screwdriver and carefully undo those screws. I'm just gonna sort of wipe over that with my and then make sure you sort of stick that in at the right angle. Sort of get it locked into place. There we go, like such. Now this SSD sort of comes fit with its own heat sink installed on top of it. So I'm sort of just gonna take one of the screws from what came with the cover and carefully install that onto the SSD to secure it down into place. So it's general mechanics, we're gonna make sure that's nice and secure in there. Cool, and now it's time for the fun bit. We're gonna install our, our all-in-one cooler. Now a beginner's mistake, I sort of just took a pause to see how everything was going 
And one of the things I realized is, yes, I am supposed to install those in A2 and B2. So for those of you who've been watching going, oh my God, he's installed them in the wrong slots. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix that. This is just a beginner's mistake. Okay, so now we're gonna have a bit of a break from the motherboard and look at the case we've got. So I'm using a Corsair Obsidian Series 500D RGB, which I've heard is a bit of a big boy, but let's crack it open. Let's see what is going on in here now. Now I'm sort of just gonna use my old desk for this. And you guys haven't actually seen the new desk yet, so. It's exciting stuff. You'll be able to see that when the build of this is done. Now to make things a bit more ergonomic, it's probably gonna be better if I, I guess, lay this on its back and lay the motherboard down. Time to screw it in. That's what we're seeing so far. Looking pretty. So I was lost for about 10 minutes trying to find where the screws for the motherboard were. It turns out that there's these two boxes on the back here. Um, to me, the instructions that have come with the uh, case aren't very clear. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is sort of start mounting our radiator fans and get this ready to go into the, to the case itself. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I've got my actual front fans that came with the case because what I'm gonna do is actually remove those fans and move them to other parts of the case. So I can move one at the back and two at the top and then I'm gonna front mount the uh, radiator as such. So it'll be a front mounted cooling system. Now I know there's a lot of talks on whether you top mount or front mount. For me, um, I think, you know, in the interest of what came with the parts, what came with the radiator, sorry, and the cooling system, um, I've you know, got three fans, it makes sense for me to, to front mount it and then use these for the other bits and bobs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is start mounting the fan on top of the radiator. Um, I honestly think this is against what Corsair advises doing, but just from some of the stuff I've been reading up on, um, I believe it is better to do this anyway. So you're pulling warm air through the radiator rather than cool air um, from, from, the, from the inside. So, I mean, I'm still sort of trying to figure my, get my head around that one particularly. But one thing I will comment on is the whole idea of having your pipes up versus down. Now, I have been reading a bit that, you know, doing this isn't ideal, um, as in having them up isn't ideal. To me, that's an absolute load of crap, right? There is no reason why you shouldn't be able to mount your pipes up. Pumps are literally designed to pump to a higher pressure, therefore pumping a little bit higher. You know, there's no benefit in having them downwards. So, just in my professional opinion, um, I don't think you need to worry too much about that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue like such. So mounting all the fans, um, using these long screws with the washers that were provided. Okay, so now that's on, I'm gonna get the top case here. If that was from the actual PC itself, the case itself, sorry and put that back over. All right, so just quickly coming over here and seeing what we've done, I've actually mounted the radiator and the radiator fans to the front, and then I've mounted the cooling pump to the CPU with the hoses going up. And I know they recommend sort of not doing that, but as I said before, you know, it, I don't think it's a big deal. Pumps are made to pump to, to pressure. They're made to do that, so to me, it doesn't make sense. And now, the reason I didn't show the build of this is because it was my first time doing it. Um, there was a bit of messing around and finding out and I didn't really feel comfortable having the camera out, making sure I had the right shots and stuff while I was also trying to figure this out. So um, what I am gonna do now is just show you um, installing the case fans. I've already done the top ones there. Again, I sort of really didn't know what I was doing. I had to figure it out on the fly and I, I didn't have to worry about the camera. But now that we've got a grip, let's get into it. Pull those through. 
sit the fan there. I'm going to come about halfway and then place my screws in. Like so. Probably want to need, need bigger screws actually looking at that. Alright, so now we're just going to install a power supply unit, which I've got the um, RM850E, 850 watts being the number there. So let's go ahead and get that open. Now, hoping this one's semi straightforward here, which it should be it's just a power supply. Oops, big chunky one. Assuming the best way to do this and yeah that gives us like access to everything on the right hand side so that all looks correct to me yep I find it weird that it's upside down though I feel like it's not supposed to be like that but maybe I'm wrong so just put my cables in It's just starting to look really busy in here now and like I can only assume this is a good thing right because it means sort of I guess in some respects everything's coming together. Um, I think it's all just not my like guesswork from here but you know understanding what you're doing with your system. So it's power for our CPU. And where this like little command pro cable is now, I'm going to find that. And we're sort of just going to go around and start plugging things in now um, that need to be where they are. Um, it's going to sort of help us get tidier as we go. Okay, now I'm completely incorrect. The arrow is actually power. Lucky I checked that. How good's fucking around than finding out? But what I might do is do the reset pin first because it's on the bottom and it sort of looks a touch awkward to get to. Yes. Okay, that was painful. I'm gonna take a break. Okay, so now the exciting bit is here, which is installing the graphics card. I'm gonna install a NVIDIA RTX 470. Let's get to it. So, I'm just gonna move that, move that very gracious cap off the header pins there. And we're gonna find the PCE1 slot. And then, by the looks of it, we've got our PCIe connector. First little plug goes into there, like such. And 
Okay, now that I believe we're somewhat done, let's go and install these sides back on. Okay. Okay, so now we're getting closer to the moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in from my, at the moment, set up as a standing desk. That's looking very, very nice. get a HDMI cord. Alrighty, so I'm gonna flick the switch on the back up. And this is, all right, everything is plugged in. HDMI is in, power is in, moment of truth. Oh baby, oh baby. Look at that, oh my God. just a walk around view of that. Oh, hello Brobeer. So yeah, this is the final build done, which I'm extremely happy about, because as I said before, it was my first time building a PC rig um, and it's come together quite well. I'm very happy with the bench results, which I'll flash up now. I did have them on my screen, but um, yeah, it was flickering quite a bit as you saw before. There we go. All the RGBs on, sorry for the reflection. I need to give that a clean already with my fingers and stuff being all over it. But yeah, this is majority of the setup. Still a work in progress with cable management and whatnot. Got my monitor. Diffuser, I got my keyboard, with all the lights and whatnot. You can see my little spectre in, in the corner over there. Um, still chilled with me and he's very useful for transferring old data and on the go recording podcasts and stuff. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave this video and keep supporting the projects and the love we do on the Engineering Dads.